Excerpt from the Foundation Database of K-Class Contingencies. An Omega K-Class end-of-death scenario refers to a situation where immortality is forced upon all life, without any other biological change, for example, the halting of aging or forced sterilization. All protocols regarding this scenario assume steps are taken to avoid any broken masquerade situation. This scenario also assumes that the Foundation has maintained its current structure and subdivisions. Priorities 1. Population control 2. Veil control 3. Research terminal state replacement Omega-K is a thing. It's happened. We all have to live with it now. Despite speculation, no matter how prevalent said speculation is, we do not know for sure whether or not we caused Omega-K, whether any of our SCPs caused it, or whether any of them can fix it. We do not know whether it is related to the Foundation at all. What we do know is that it now defines our lives. The SCP Foundation does not destroy anomalies. It contains them. That is our purpose. Omega-K is an anomaly, and we will contain it. We will not end it. We will not put things back, as certain individuals are asking. That is not our purpose. This is not our battle. However, we will contain it. Or at least try to. So, if any of you are expecting my research team to come up with some magical solution to end Omega-K, stop expecting that. We will treat the symptoms, but not cure the disease. Omega-K is here, and it's not going away. So, grow up and move on. Your professionals, act like it. It's not like this thing is going to kill you. We appreciate the time you've taken to complete this year's social census. Thank you. Please write your answer to each question on the sheet of paper in front of you. Firstly, please explain any event which has occurred during your life which would have been fatal before the end of death. This could include drowning, partial immolation, asphyxiation, blood loss, head injury, or extreme old age. Please also note any lasting injuries you have due to this event. This includes constant intense pain syndrome. The main questions will now begin. Who was your most recent ancestor to die? Please give their full name and their relation to you. How old are you? If you are unsure, please give the closest decade and century of your age. Have you had any children in the past 75 years? Please note that due to the confidential nature of a social census, you will not be prosecuted. Please be honest. Are you currently in a waiting list to receive either full body transplant surgery or digital consciousness transfer? Do you consider yourself to be religious? If so, please state your religion. Are you a resident of a North Chinese, Central European, North American, or Pan-African megacities? Do you currently suffer from immortality-induced depression disorder, or immortality-induced anxiety disorder? Are you an investor in any scientific research project which is attempting to create a true death alternative? Finally, would you say your quality of life has increased or decreased in the last year? Thank you for completing the 2257 social census.
We hope to see you next year. Remember that many scientific research organizations are exploring death alternatives. A viable death alternative is expected to be widely available by 2300.